before we get into this video, I just want to go through a couple of things. First thing is, this video might be on the long side, so I will skip chapters in it, just so you can skip to any part you want to skip to. The other thing is, yes, I know you can use software to do what I'm going to do, but I'm looking at the future. I'm looking at, um, I'll probably be upgrading again sometime in the near future to another M.2, and this, I think, me personally, this will be quicker than messing about the software, unless you pay for it, and then you get faster bits. So I thought, I want to invest in something that, you know, hopefully will be really good. And, oh, and yes, I did buy it. Yeah, I bought it out of my own money. I didn't ask for it. I didn't send it to me. I just went out and bought it because I had to look online, Amazon, and only had two reviews and didn't really know, you know, what to think. So I thought, I'll go out and buy it myself. If it's rubbish, I will tell you. If it's good, I will keep it. Oh, yeah, it will go back if it's rubbish, by the way. So... With that, the other thing I want to tell you is why I bought it, and that is because that computer over there keeps crashing, and I think it's a hard drive. I've run some tests, and there's nothing to tell me it is the hard drive, but everything that tells me when it crashes, that it is the hard drive, if that makes sense. The software that I've tried to run it on, saying, you know, we checked it, no, it's, it's running fine, there's no issue. But Windows is saying, oh, you've got no operating system, or Windows is come into a problem, you know, and uh, need to shut, shut down. And then it goes, oh, I can't find an operating system. <laughs> so I know something's going wrong. And also, I know M.2s have a lifespan of five years. I don't think the one that's in there is five years old, but it doesn't mean it's going to, you know, die sooner rather than later, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to be doing, once I've done the unboxing, gone through all the products and, you know, what, you know, what I'm doing, but what I'm actually going to be doing is, I'm not installing this into that, I'm installing this into the, that one over there, the one I use all the time. And the reason for that is because, well, this is a newer hard drive for a start, and it runs faster. I know, I believe I have Gen 3, not Gen 4, but again, looking at the future, you can always swap it over to a new motherboard, can't you? Yeah, that makes sense. And then the hard drive out of that one, providing this is running okay first, but providing everything works and everything's running, the hard drive out of there, I will clone that hard drive onto that hard drive. Yeah, makes sense. Like I said, it might be a bit on the long side, but we'll get there in the end. So uh, with that, let's get on with the uh, unboxing. So the first things first, we have the Western Digital, Western Digital Black, the N SN850 NVMe SSD. And I know it says PlayStation. It just means it's the official drive that they're recommending that you should use on the PlayStation. Doesn't mean you can't actually use it on, you know, a PC. It just means it's official. And the other thing I liked about this is it's already got a heatsink. So it comes with its own heatsink. You can buy it without a heatsink, and it's a little bit cheaper, but I thought, no, I'm going to use their heatsink because hopefully it's better than the one I've been using, which is the one that's actually come with the motherboard. Let's get it open, shall we? Let's see exactly what you get for your money. So we have a load of paperwork, which you would expect anyway. We have the M.2. <laughs> you definitely want that, baby. And I'm trying to think, oh, it's a double seal, sealer thing, isn't it? I'm just trying to think, how do I open it? There you go. Done it, done it. So that is it. This is a two terabyte hard drive, by the way. It's not a one terabyte, I went for the two terabyte. There's your heat sink, yeah? M.2s, they are tiny, aren't they? Yeah, two terabytes, okay? Uh, sticker, two stickers. No, is it a sticker? Welcome... Bin a view new, bin bien view. I don't know. Uh, some information on there which I'll have a read later. Some more information on there, probably about health and safety. And looks like loads of stuff on there. Multilingo. I'll get that out of the way. So that's the M.2. Uh, let's find a way of opening this. Oh, there you go. So you don't need any software for this to work. Warm tip, before you open the packaging, please confirm whether your M.2 hard disk matches our product. If not, please return it. Oh, interesting, let me have a look. 
Let me have a look. Looks like it. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> right, doesn't support the one with the double with the double tags, yeah? Only supports these, which I knew anyway. I did actually check that. Because it does actually say on Amazon, yeah. You need to check this. So we have the actual device itself. I hope it works. It's gonna be well gutted if it don't. So this is it. So apparently it's a turn it on, clone or PM. What's PM? I'll read it later. Uh, press clone, escape. So source, so that'd be your old hard drive and target. That'd be the new hard drive. Uh, they've made that really simple, ain't they? So I'm gonna have it on clone, what do we have on here? So on the back we have Type-C connection, power. We need power. I don't think I need to connect it to the Type-C, I believe I believe, I haven't read the instructions yet, but I believe the idea is the Type-C is so you can plug it into your computer and copy it from there straight onto an M.2. But we'll see. Pretty sure. So we have clone and, oh, poop head. I made a mistake. Escape. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that, sorry. Just having a bit of fun. Uh, that'd be the instructions. Uh, and that'd be a uh, warranty. Box. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. Get that out of the way. I'm going to keep all the packaging just in case it doesn't work. So power bank, so power brick, whatever you want to call it. It's quite big and chunky, isn't it? But not too big. Nice long cable looking at that, and I reckon that's a low voltage thing. Looking at that, can't see it. 1.5 amp, 3.0 amp. I told you it's low voltage. Uh, this would be your USB. I am going to leave that in the bag, but looking at that, I'll say it's not going to be that long. Maybe six, seven hundred mil, something like that. No. I'm not going to get it out, just in case it needs to go back. But this is the baby we're looking at. So, source A, target. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Let's make sure it fits. So, target goes round that way, does it? Oh, nice, nice snug fit. There you go, like that. Yeah, it looks quite easy, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do now is I need to read the instructions, just make sure I've got a good understanding of exactly what I'm doing. And uh, also, I need to shut that computer down so I can take the M.2 out. It should be quite easy to do. I mean, powering it down. <laughs> so I'll be back. Right, I've set it all up. I'm using one of my USB leads because my computer's right over there and the one that come with it, I wouldn't be able to use it. It wouldn't be long enough. So I'm using my own. Also, I read the instructions. They're not very good. They're a bit hard to see and I will show you. But yeah, like I said, they're not very good. Not the best instructions in the world. They do give you the basics on what to do. It's just that they're not very clear. They look a bit faded. Also, I did go on YouTube and they have made a video. Again, it's not a very good video because there's no audio whatsoever. They do show you what to do and then when you get to the end, they've done it for a phone. And I think, oh, well, we're not doing it like that. We are doing most of the parts, except for the last bit, of course, because it's not for a phone. First things first. If it's a new hard drive, you're going to have to initialise it. It's quite easy to do if you've never done it before. I'm going to quickly go through the process. I've already done this one, but I will do it again just to show you what to do. Okay? So make sure it's plugged into your PC, which it is. Got a USB Type-C connection. Got power plugged in as well. Make sure it's set on to PM, not clone. And make sure that's firmly inserted. Turn her on. And this hard drive actually lights up as well. Got a little blue light on it. See that? And wait till it says OK. We have an OK button. If it comes up with an error, chances are you haven't pushed it in properly. Right, so it's come up just for, it says it's offline, and we can turn it on and put it off online. But it should say initialise, but like I said, I've already done that because I needed to make sure it worked properly, and it does. So you right click it, it come up initialise, click on that, go through the process, just press OK, OK, 
and you should be good to go. So once you've initialized it, you need to right click on here and click on new simple volume. Just go through the process, click next, click next. We're not changing the size. Select the letter. I'm going to go for X because X marks the spot. Makes, makes sense, yeah? <laughs> so click next and we're going to leave it as that, NTFS. Leave everything default. You can name it and I am going to name it right now. I'm going to call it new C drive. So I know it's that one, just to make sure. Click next and finish. Give it a few seconds. It will do a format and when it's done, you should get this come up like that. Means it's ready, that is it, that's inside it. You can add a folder if you want, we're not gonna touch it, we're gonna leave it like that. And that is it. So now what we need to do is shut the PC down. I'll take my C drive out, put it in this slot here and hopefully clone it. I'm actually gonna do the cloning. So first things first, make sure your C drive is pushed in correctly. Make sure it's nice and tight, mine is, and I've double checked, it's in there nice and tight. Also make sure you have it on clone. You do not need your USB type C connection plugged in for this bit, as far as I understand. And make sure it's powered on. Fingers crossed, everything should work. Wait till it comes up and says OK. There you go, both sound OK. Now, it says in the instructions that are not very clear, <laughs> hold down the clone button. And we're away. And we have, a, what's that, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. Okay, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I would imagine it would take quite a while. So I will go make a cup of tea and be back in a bit. Also, before I go and make my cup of tea, make sure you plug the C drive into the source, the one you're copying from, yeah, to the target drive. So source, target. Make sure you get that round the right way. So we're going from this one to this one. Okay, right, now I'll go and make a cup of tea. Uh, I'll check the time to see how long it takes, but it shouldn't take that long, fingers crossed. Right, it's all finished. It come up solid blues, and after a few seconds, it went off to like that. I haven't turned it off yet, but it's all done. How long do you think it took? I'll tell you in a second. Right, turn this off. So that should be completed. Guessed it? 17 minutes. Yeah, I did time it actually. It's about 17 minutes. No, I didn't use a stopwatch, but it's about 17 minutes. And I thought, well, that's pretty quick. But you have to bear something in mind, depending on how much data you have on your C drive to how long it would take. My C drive is not full up, nowhere near full up. So probably why it only took that long. So I would imagine if it's a, say one terabyte or you know, maybe even a two terabyte, probably an hour. Again, that's not bad. So I'm going to install it and hopefully everything works perfectly. We will find out. Before I tell you my verdict, I just want to quickly tell you what I don't like about it and its instructions. They wasn't very clear, very hard to read, very faded, like it had been there for years, you know what I mean? And I would have preferred perhaps a bit more information, you know. I had some nice little pictures, but again, they wasn't very clear to see what was actually going on. And also, they have made a video, and it's a non-talking video. Again, something I like. I like to hear someone telling me what they're actually doing. And I know you have to do it in multilingo, but it would have been nice. But apart from that, so far, it's working fine. It's been a few days. I wanted to make sure everything was running first. So I didn't, you know, I didn't install it, check to see if it started up and thought, well, that's it, it works. It's been about four days. 
I want to make sure that all my devices and all my software that's on my original C drive works, and it does. I'm going to quickly get up my chat from my stream deck to come up here. And my Streamlabs OBS, this is for when I do my live stream on my other channel. See, they'll work. <coughs> Nothing has changed. It is perfect. Well, touch wood, hopefully. I haven't found nothing yet to say it's not going to work. So, yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. Also, if you're thinking about subscribing, I've got another video coming up where I'm going to be installing this C drive from out of that computer with the operating system still on now. And I'm going to plug it in to that computer to see if it'll run that computer. Now, you may think, yeah, what's so special about that? Well, the thing is, that computer's an AMD processor, and that one's an Intel. So I'm thinking it won't work, but should you be interested in seeing whether or not this does work, consider subscribing and consider clicking on the bum, on the bum. <laughs> and consider clicking on the bell to get notified. So with that, if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And like I said earlier, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.